I'm playing Stardew Valley. I've never really played this game before, at least until today. I did a couple test recordings. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I guess I'll... Oh, it's in a Mindstorm, by the way. I'm going to start a new save file here, and, uh, yeah. So I'm going to be NM Mindstorm, just because that's my YouTube personality. <laughs> and I'm ready to experience this game. I'm completely blind other than the hour that I played it just a little bit ago. Alright, so farm's name is going to be Chad. Favorite thing? It's a good song. Oh, I can't stare at that for an hour while I play this game. I'm going to have to fix this. <laughs> ah. Why are there so many <laughs> songs about... Ri okay, sorry. Let's go with that. Because why not? It, it looks pretty good. Oh, I don't want to skip the intro. And for my very special grandson... Am I? Am I your very special grandson? I want you to have this sealed envelope. That indeed looks like an envelope that is sealed. Now I have the sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Has that day not yet come? And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. My dude, it's already happened. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. I mean, I guess I'll just open it now then. Alright, I think we have our, our antagonist here. Joja, working people literally to their deaths. We have a skeleton. I actually missed this part of the cutscene the first time around, so this is not a fake reaction, I promise. But yeah, looks like we got a little letter here. If you, uh, Dear NM Mindstorm. <laughs> That's me! If you're, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature, so I dropped everything and moved to this place I truly belong. And that is Stardew Valley. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Chad Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Anything for you, Grandpa. If Lewis is still alive, that is. Alright, this looks like the opening cutscene for Luigi's Mansion 3. Hello, you must be Anna Mindstorm. <laughs> Why, yes I am. Anna Mindstorm YouTube extraordinaire. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Like Jesus. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. But, of course, if I won't follow you, the farm isn't over there, right? How's that Julie Andrews thing gonna come into play? I'm actually quite curious. What's the matter? I know, right? I just randomly jumped. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Oh, you're just leaving me with the bill. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, didn't even prepare a nice little space for me. I didn't ask for any of this. And here we are, your new home, Robin. Yeah. So if someone steals something, it was probably you, because your name is Robin. Ah, the new farmer. I wouldn't call myself a farmer, but let's see where this takes us. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Oh, good to see you're still alive. 
You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. I don't know why I give everyone stupid voices. It's just... It's not adding anything to the game. It's a good house. Very... Rustic. And then, and then get this. Ready? Ready? Robin comes in with a sick burn. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Yeah. Yeah, I, I played through the beginning of this, um, in the last video when my audio got fucking... So we got some cool characters here. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. You know what? I'm going to give these guys voices. Lewis is going to be... <laughs> That's going to be his voice. And then Robin's going to be... Oh, hello! Something, something like that. I'll work it out. The townspeople would appreciate that. Alrighty. We got, we got some serious shit to do here. We got some serious shit. Alright. You received 15 partners. Here's a little... Oh, okay, I cannot do that all day. Mayor Lewis. <laughs> okay. Cool, but every time I swing my axe, I lose some energy, so I should probably be a little more careful with how and when I use this. Finally, we get to leave the stupid place. Ha! I'm ditching this town. Ditching this city. Nobody likes me anyways. Alright. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. All right, you won't talk anymore. Cool. Working fine. Working fine. All right. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Why am I giving everyone freaking weird voices? Maru. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. We have another dude. Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thank you for introducing yourself. Hello, Demetrius. Why are you vibrating? And I just clipped through you. I think that's a glitch, right? Alrighty. Awesome. Why? Dang, I really want to be good enough friends with Sebastian to enter his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you even bring me down those stairs like that, then? Alright, what, what's up here? There's there's more. There's a ton more here to... Oh my fucking god. You're not good enough friends with Maru to enter her bedroom. You're not good enough friends with Robin or Demetrius to enter... Oh. 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 Oh, yeah, they're definitely not siblings, either. I see what's happening. Robin and Demetrius, ew. They sleep together. What's this game rated? I can't cut down your beautiful tree. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I can't. Excuse me. God damn it. Nobody's home, either. I really am just breaking and entering right now. Okay. Purchasing some Joja Cola. Yummity yummity. 425. Is there anything that costs five? No. Wish there were, because then I could have 420. Okay, never mind. Alright. I'm just gonna... Take a take a nice little Uber back to my house. All I have to do this is how you hail a cab in this game. Yeah, and once your energy gets down to zero, boom, you're home. This is a nice little exploit I found. Come on, come on, come on.
Good, 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 good. So, that's how you get home in Stardew Valley. Thank you for watching my YouTube tutorial. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure this game has a ton more to explore. But, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. And actually, yeah, you see this? 42G to cover medical expenses. So it's it's an Uber drive that comes with a price, but it still gets you home. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm actually going to sleep once more just so that I can uh, really get my energy back up there. But I'm also designing a little video game of my own, and I decided to expand my horizons playing games like this, you know? I've heard only good things, and... Uh, I and now I've experienced only good things, and now it is raining. So, yeah, thanks all for watching, and I will see you next time. Cue outro. Video just fucking ends because I don't have an outro. Uh, subscribe.